Okay. Hi, I'm Chiko. My actual name is totally different, but it's hard to ask for English speakers, but uh, please call me Chiko. And uh, I'm a motor tech speaker, it's a volunteer from Japan. And uh, today I'm talking about uh, WebAssembly. And my talk, actually, my slide deck is upload, have been uploaded here, so please check for details about that. And uh, as you know, we have already have a one virtual machine on web browser, which support to, I would say, which enables us to run programs inside the web browser. That is a J JavaScript web virtual machine. And it have almost uh, 10 years, no, 15 years history. But uh, we have, now we have a new virtual machine on web browser. Uh, I will talk a bit louder, or are we going to okay. give you the microphone? Yeah, okay. okay. Some Can people hear. in the back have to talk. Okay. Could you hear me? Okay. Yeah, you. Try again. Better you use a microphone. Yeah. Microphone. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to take just a minute. So okay. Good. I'm going to give you a minute in the end for that. <laughs> That's somewhere in your pocket. Mm -hmm. that your yeah. so, okay. Thank you. But uh, is it on? Is it working? It is. It is. It is. It's up, it's up. <laughs> is it working? It's working. Working. Right. Okay. Again. <laughs> I'm, I'm a volunteer speaker, tech speaker from Japan. I'm talking about uh, WebAssembly things. Uh, that is a new virtual machine on the web browser, integrated with in, inside web browser. And uh, it can be interacted with <laughs> server speak louder. <laughs> Okay, I'll try more. Uh, but uh, it is, uh, how to say, uh, can be integrated with uh, uh, JavaScript as well. And uh, it, it is actually with this virtual machine, <laughs> you see, Tesla machine. Okay, this is working. And, uh, uh, so actually, with this ver new virtual machine, we can compile our C code to the web browsers. And uh, we can, uh, I will talk about uh, how, uh, how can we use this new virtual machine uh, by this talk, my small talk, uh, a brief talk. Before entering my uh, talk body, I start to introduce my organization, actually my sponsor to come here, uh, it is Mozilla, and it is, uh, how say, a, Non-profit organization, actually not corporation. So they how say invest or uh, invent new technology from the different viewpoint of uh, uh, from the viewpoint of non-profit organization. Actually, WebAssembly is or uh, WebAssembly origin from the project of a researcher who want to play FPS. Do you know FPS? It's a fast-pass shooting game like Halo on the web browser. So to, uh, to play, enable such kind of game, a heavyweight game, on the top web browser, we need more speed, actually. And it's, it's very tough to uh, re-implement uh, such kind of heavy game with uh, JavaScript. So that they need two things. Uh, first thing, runtime, fast runtime, and second, the compiler to for, uh, say, generate a program which can run on the top of a web browser from a C or C++ code. So that's a basic, uh, that is the origin of a web assembly. And now we get uh, its result, and uh, it is officially supported by Chrome or something. <laughs> Trap, we have some trouble, okay, go. And uh, now we have our web assembly officially landed, and uh, we can use on the Firefox and Google Chrome. Oh, great! Yay! <laughs> and uh, uh, actually, the Chrome and Firefox has uh, their support uh, of the WebAssembly last week or something. 
and uh, edge and you su uh, suffer not suffering as a web kit eager to develop uh, implement runtime on the top of their web uh, their browser engines. And uh, WebAssembly is actually a binary format, new binary format for uh, to I say. Uh, for which I'd say actually new binary format for describe some programs, uh, and uh, it is I'd say it is not has um, I'd say it is openly discussing its a uh, standard. It is standardized in the it actually it is under standardization under the W3C, and it is discussion uh, publicly, so you can join. That the RPR, the W3C committee group about WebAssembly. And its, dessert, uh, its discussion is also described at the GitHub basis, at the, at the WebAssembly's uh, repository. So you can pretty check it out for details. And its feature is the first uh, execution. And also that it is a web, so it is safe execution. And uh, uh, tend to uh, say we can. Uh, as for the WebAssembly is a binary format, but it's not native things, so it is portable. In other words, browser convert or generate native code from the WebAssembly. Uh, so, and the web, web that is designed for web, so we can view source. A view source is an essential part of the web, so we can view source of the. Actually, we can translate out uh, generate the text format from the. Uh, text we, can, we have a text representation and easily to uh, generate from a binary things. So it is hard to I say. So in other words, WebAssembly cannot be applicable for code application, actually. And uh, we can control its execution from JavaScript. That is the basic feature of WebAssembly. And yeah. And uh, as for the performance, execution performance, that, that is, this graph uh, is, I would say, describes the performance against the native execution. One mean, actually, actually, it is a relative value to the native, ex uh, sorry, the native uh, benchmarks. One is a native, one, so if we this graph, uh, and this, so we can see the WebAssembly had, 30% or 50% uh, penalty against uh, native code. So 50% slower than native code. But uh, it's, it's a relatively higher uh, quick in execution, so we can use it as a, for the uh, encryption things like this. And so, and here's a, a typical usage. Actually, there's no uh, no production level usage of WebAssembly. Uh, web so that is a uh, I say. Uh, it's, I say that's it. That I I get this kind of usage from uh, specs. But uh, there's a we actually we have we can com uh, categorize uh, WebAssembly usage into three things. That is uh, how how. I would say it's coverage of, the, of against the whole applications. So here, this one is uh, we we build whole thing with WebAssembly, like gaming. So we actually we get uh, Unity, uh, game uh, famous game development environment, uh, support has had supported WebAssembly. So Unity, we can emit WebAssembly from Unity code. So we can we, when we build a whole game with Unity, we can get uh, uh, our game. We can port, uh, expose the game to the web via WebAssembly. Then the, so the whole thing is, uh, was uh, is developed uh, along with WebAssembly web things. And the game is a typical use for this kind of usage. And uh, this is a uh, other thing. Uh, here is a uh, most. Uh, Right side usage, yeah, I'll say, almost things are developed, uh, implemented with JavaScript, except that some small modules which requires rapid execution, uh, actually quick execution, like encryption or decoding or something. So, this uh, that, that 
Usually it will be a VPN application running on the top of the browsers and uh, uh, with some codex, a video codex that's not, as I would say, which support, which does not support it by web browsers. So we can create our own codec with WebAssembly and integrate it is our website. And the, sec the middle one is, uh, I say, it's an uh, intermediate of this one and this one. I say most things are implemented with WebAssembly, but things that are enhanced with uh, web technology, this is web technology, like uh, font thing, web font, using font, web font to uh, give a much a much better user experience or something like that. So here we have we take a look at some examples. Yeah, this is a game uh, made uh, made with Unity and exported to the uh, web via web as a web assembly apps free web, web assembly apps. This is also a game. Actually, it is a uh, has a. 20 years, 25 years ago game. Actually, do you know the X68K? Is it uh, has a popular game PC in 25 years ago in Japan? And uh, actually, this is a, uh, the other, uh, its emulator is written in C, and uh, the author converted it into WASM and by compiler and run their, its, na its native game on the top of the emulator. But uh, actually, as you know, this is uh, a game uh, in 20 quarter, quarter, quarter century ago. So the resolution is very, how to say, poor. And the font, font is, how to say, uh, bitmap font. It is a bitmap font inside it. So the rules are enhanced with latest web technology, such as web fonts and uh, vector graphics. So that is combination of the WebAssembly and the, uh, JavaScript. Uh, here is uh, another example, which is uh, how say, analyzer of the videos. So this this uh, this, uh, this demo uh, shows a motion vector. Do you know about motion vector? It's, it, it is a uh, uh, the visualization of the how objects move first inside of videos. So it, it analyzes. Uh, video dynamically and generate a motion vector and visualize it on the website, web browser. There's no C code, no native code. It's only a WASM and JavaScript. And uh, this is, uh, I say, typically interesting things. Uh, it, it, it is a uh, Markdown editor, uh, online Markdown editor. So we can like Markdown left hand side and save it. After save it, it, it we can get a preview on their right hand side. But actually, this left hand editor, right hand side, uh, right editor press and right hand side editor is a beam, you know, beam. Actually, and that beam is ported to the web, actually, web assembly. And uh, actually, this beam is uh, encapsulated with a React, as a React component, or we can beam as a React component and integrate our application with the React technology, something like that. It's very interesting, I like it. And uh, here's a, another example. It is a image processing, and it's edge, de actually edge detection of the uh, edge detection. It is also, I say, lining on the top of the web browser, dynamically detect edge of a given images. That is a, uh, say typical usage of WebAssembly. So uh, we can uh, implement whole thing with WebAssembly and also we can integrate, I would say, say implement, uh, web, uh, we can use WebAssembly as a means to speed up our applications. Like it is the same structure in server-side as you know, we can implement server-side thing with Python, but we, when we need uh, some speed or so we de-implement it with Go or something like that. So it's the same thing. Or WASM is a uh, means to speed up our application instead of JavaScript. And uh, here is a, uh, our, we have several, several means 
to create WASM program. So <laughs> we can, actually it is a binary file, so we can write by my own hand with binary editor. That is very tough things. Yeah, it's actually very rare. Yeah, some freak can do that. <laughs> um, I can do that. <laughs> But the uh, uh, second one is, uh, how to say, we, uh, we can write, uh, uh, how to say, WASM has a, um, some text language, we can, like assembler. So we can write uh, uh, text, uh, WASM as a text format, in text format, and uh, compile, compile it, actually compile not convert it into the uh, binary files. It's sometimes, in small program, we can do that. And the uh, most, uh, let's say, typical creating means is a compiler, using compiler. Actually, we have a compiler named mscripting, which actually it uses uh, LLVM internally, so it, uh, we can handle kind of C or C++ code and generate to the version with single options. So, I tried it. Oh, not go on. Some notification here. Yep. This is a very famous code, you know? This is Hello World program in C, you know? And uh, we can compile compile it with ZCC, like this. No, there's no, let's say, strange things, actually. So, and uh, we have another compiler named EMCC, actually a part of uh, m thing, actually. And uh, we can compile this C code with this option. We expect how it's comes from. So it generates, it generates a uh, SQL file, actually. Okay. Take some time, it takes some time to, the article, this compiler, this compiler generate uh, combined legacy dynamically, so we can see a standard C library inside our G. C program. And it, it compiles uh, C code and generates with JavaScript, actually. And we, after a little bit, takes some time. Yep. Yep. We get it. Here is a index HTML and now, uh, as well as JavaScript file. And uh, here is uh, some, uh, actually, this is a lab program uh, uh, as a JS. So, so we can learn this generated JavaScript file with Node. <laughs> we can get the hello world, actually. The same thing to the okay, to the WebAssembly. We can generate WebAssembly with this comp with this uh, with this option. We we can we if when we put the this was this option to the when we execute call evolve the EMCC, uh, it will generate WebAssembly. Okay, my friend is talking. Yeah, here is a uh, example, and uh, so that is a I say most typical uh, creation way, actually. So entering before entering the. Uh, Detail of all, uh, all specs, we get to we get uh, uh, how to say we how to try to say I have I will uh, demonstrate how to integrate how uh, actually how to implement a counter actually with WASM. So starting with C code, I will start with C code. Just a very simple C code. Uh, state is uh, state uh, state how how. Uh, global value uh, holds a state of a counter and uh, we have one method increment. It's, it's count up. And we get, uh, we can compile 
uh, compiled this code and generated this text representation was a text representation. And uh, actually, we put some, after that, we, uh, we put some modification on it because, you know, a C compiler mangling, uh, avoid the mangling of C compilers. Actually, uh, C compiler does not keep the original function name in, uh, in the entity binary, so we fix it to fix it the name function name. And uh, actually, WebAssembly is a, is a spec for describe um, modules. So it can, it holds some um, we can uh, WebAssembly we can uh, say we can uh, use uh, functions defined actually exported from the WebAssembly from JavaScript and also get the uh, import some function from JavaScript to place. So in another words, we can define the callback function in the buttons. So we, in this export area, export function is basically as an export function uh, this, like this. And uh, we can specify how, what get function we, are, we can uh, say was expected to be imported as a import area like this. So in this example, uh, this buzz module expected that update function will be imported from JavaScript space. And we generate, we can generate the binary file from this wasm uh, cherry text file. And uh, after generate the binary file, uh, we, in, we should integrate it with our JavaScript code. Actually, we can to integrate uh, Wasm with JavaScript. We can we should compile it and instance it, instantiate it. So before that, uh, so with this like this with code, with this code, we we can download the Wasm file from network and uh, change it as a variable buffer. Actually, it's a sequence of bytes and uh, compile it with uh, uh, in, uh, integrated, implemented on the top of the web browsers, and we can compile it and com get the compiled image that, like this. After that, we should, but the compiled image cannot be used from JavaScript. We should instantiate it, because you know, compiled ha image have not given uh, important functions or some memories uh, object. It. So we should specify it. Uh, we should give. It, uh, we should Im implement it. Uh, actually, actually instantiate them by uh, with some import environments like this. In this example, I specify one function named update here and uh, instantiate the compiled module. So. After instantiation, we can use uh, instance was an instance uh, in, as a, in the same way to the call the JavaScript use the JavaScript modules like this. Uh, all function exported function is listed under the export attribute like this. So we can call the increment method written implement written C like this. So that is the overview of how to use what create a WASM and how to use inside of a web website. So it is after there, there's no I say from the viewpoint of the use use of modules, there's no difference between JavaScript and WASMs. And uh, we have uh, debugger. Actually, there the, this is the latest things. Uh, it is available in this couple of weeks. It's very lucky. I'm very happy to have this kind of debugger. It is has available on the Firefox developer edition. Actually, this is the version of Firefox. You can uh, use, you can debug with this debugger. Actually, we can see the local value, uh, I'll say local variables. And uh, you can do, we can do step execution and uh, something like that. 
and uh, we and uh, and actually, actually, yeah, that is the basic function feature of the debuggers. Uh, that means very simple features, but it has a great help for us to debug a lot of other things. Before this debugger availability, we should debug with printf. It's very tough and troublesome thing. And our performance tuning is very also troublesome thing. Uh, because, you know, we should record everything on the web browsers and uh, should <laughs> say, uh, debugging one thing is very tough because, you know, we should debugging, uh, say, performance in, to improve performance of a web program it requires the knowledge of inside the web browsers. So we should guess it. But uh, with this debugger, it's very helpful, yeah, to figure out which part that not work well or something like that. That is. So, we have five minutes. So, we get little uh, of, uh, details about the uh, WASM specs. Actually, as, you, as I mentioned, WASM is a definition, module definition. It's a module definition. Actually, it has seven sections inside it. And uh, I'm listed here. And uh, did actually, these things, not all these things are optional things, not mandatory things. So, minimum net binary, binary, binary consists of two bytes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> magic number, um, two bytes, not, not eight bytes, or something like that. Magic number and version number. And uh, but, uh, so, what we will define the module functions in with these sections, like uh, contain type section, contain the signature list, and this uh, code section contains the function body. And the export section defines uh, which functions to be uh, exported to JavaScript spaces. And the import section will define uh, which function or which, uh, actually which values or which objects come from the JavaScript space. And uh, here is an uh, uh, online tool called WebAssembly Explorer. We can see the, uh, how compile generate WebAssembly uh, with this tool. Actually, AMCC also generates uh, uh, what's called, but it puts some, I'll uh, say, it, its generate code has, uh, I'll say, uh, standard C library support. So we, it, it, it will be more redundant to see binary itself, but it, so it is very useful to, to understand how WASM generated. And actually, WASM described, uh, uh, described our program as an abstract syntax tree and with the uh, operator uh, in, of WASM VMs. What VM is designed as a stack type stack machine, so we have no we have, actually we have no need to understand how register what register is available. We just focus on the how stacks state of stack, a state of stacks. So so it is I think it much easier to understand than native assembler codes like Intel C code. We Inter has very special asset registers, so very easy to understand. And, and the last thing I should describe add to my talk is uh, uh, the WASM, WASM memory is WASM a model, uh, a WASM model, their memory as a line of things. There's no stacks on the on the that is used for the uh, depth segment and heap. That's all. Uh, stack is uh, hidden on the VM execution environment. And this memory is can be treat, uh, say controlled from with JavaScript APIs. We can grow the size or we can get the current size. Actually, it is a array buffer, actually, so we can get the access our memory directory via uh, array buffer access. 
So I skip, 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 skip. So wrap up. WebAssembly is a binary format, actually, but uh, not native things. It's so easy, it's portable thing. And uh, we can generate it from C or C++ or C sharp from, by Unity, and we can generate it from the last code with last compiler. And uh, it's very hard first because it is compiled before its execution. So browser uh, compiler generate a native code from other things. So it's bring more much first execution to us. Uh, and we can control the Wasm execution with JavaScript APIs. And uh, actually, uh, Wasm is, uh, has a very, Wasm primitive is, is a primitive thing, so we, can, Wasm, we cannot uh, con use a string directory or use a structured data directory. It is a, as a, we can treat the, this as a, a sequence of numbers on the heap. It's like a C way. C thing. So, but uh, it's uh, say, capable enough to manage 100 using such kind of things. Anyway, and uh, last, my last slide is this. But what the button does not deliver to us? Uh, WASM is a binary thing, but they are not native things, so we cannot use, uh, and the WASM that we cannot uh, call native APIs from the WASM. It's a, it's a web. Its execution is a sandbox, so we cannot call native APIs. And we cannot access, <laughs> so, and uh, we cannot use, uh, protect our code with WASM because, you know, we have text representation and it's at easy to the uh, disassemble to the text representation from binary files. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Anybody have questions? No questions. Security. 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 Actually, security is the same same thing into the JavaScript VM. Actually, JavaScript. So. There's no difference. Yep. So, uh, when you say that WASM uh, is for performance improvement, yep. it seems to be uh, an improvement in terms of uh, generation of, of, of the JIT code and not exactly actually, optimization of the JIT code. Yeah, actually, uh, actually, not uh, actually, not, but, but actually, optimization is a responsible com compiler. You know, generate which generates the WASM code. So, the browser does not. We don't need lead time to optimize the code uh, to generate optimize native code like JavaScript. Right. So it, that is a different from the JavaScript zit zit compiler. But then you you still uh, since you're targeting the the VM, and I'm assuming it's, it's the similar VM to to the one that uh, runs JavaScript, or is it a different? Yeah, different VM. And does the VM actually know what machine it is running on? Is it, is it capable of, of uh, utilizing uh, specific features? Yeah. That's, that's where actually, uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the VM is integrated with, actually implement on, integrated with web browser, so, so VM knows what architecture they are running on. So they, uh, they are, uh, the na the native code they emitted will be used uh, for UTIs. The native features. Okay. And so, does it does it work in like SSE or UBX? I'm sure, but I assume that that it, it depends on the how say its implementation. As far as the Firefox, it uses such kind of things, but uh, yeah, Firefox works because it's, it's yeah, but, but uh, I'm sure, but it's not defined in the specs. Yeah, it depends on the browser vendors. <coughs> Last question, uh, is there a backend available for GCC or is it just yeah. GCC? Yeah, it's, uh, the backend is available on the LLVM. Okay. Yeah, LLVM. But uh, I'm not sure we can use it uh, directly. So for now, we use special tools called in script name. Yeah. Any more questions?
because everybody's too hungry. So okay. Let's just uh, finish it and.